I think I should take you through my book because that is what Karina first, what first appealed to her. She said that um, it gave you a potted history of Russia in a very accessible form. That is, of course, from Peter the Great until Nicholas II and the revolution. Starting with Peter the Great, he won some land from Sweden, some, um, some of the Baltic coast, and he'd always wanted to have a fleet so he was absolutely delighted that he'd got access for the, to the sea there. He started by building a fortress to keep the Swedes out, and he ended up building a whole town, forcing the aristocracy of Russia to build themselves houses, and um, it was a, a fantastic building work. The fortress contains the Peter and Paul, it's called the Peter and Paul Fortress and the Cathedral of Peter and the Paul. And it has the tombs of all the Tsars since Peter the Great. It's a very beautiful and very moving place. But he was also a great um, art connoisseur as well. He collected quantities of um, Scythian gold and other things like that. Peter, in a sense, um, started um, the collection. He collected Scythian gold wonderful gold objects from um, Scythian tombs in um, the Siberia, 500 BC, that kind of area. He was sent a collection by the um, governor of Siberia as a present when he, um, his wife gave birth to a, a son and he fell on them and loved them <laughs> and um, um, ordered um, that all, all further Scythian gold that was found in tombs should be directed to, directly to him in um, in St. Petersburg. And then he um, um, installed um, also legislation that said um, that if it was um, illicitly, um, Ill illicit in excavations were absolutely banned. He started doing what we're doing today um, around archeological areas, but um, he was the first. And he also bought a wonderful Venus, um, a statue in, in Rome. Um, it was, had been dug up in the environs of Rome, which is where a lot of antiquities are found. And mostly they are Roman copies of Greek antiquities. A clever curator in the last 10 years has demonstrated that he is actually a Greek, almost certainly a Greek original of the third century BC so that it's become even more exciting than Peter the Great knew.